Hello, good people, ladies and gents. Welcome to the first ever episode of A View from the Nursing Home, brought to you by the Elderly Nerd Crew. As always, I'm Hollywood Shooter Rutledge Brother. And I'm the Selminator, not Clover. This is brought to you by Modelo. Not really, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so today's topic is going to be, we're going to talk about the PlayStation 5 and what limited information we have on it. I'm not really going to be a big part of this. I'll tell you why I'm not going to purchase it, but the PlayStation experts here will take it over for me right quick. Well, I wouldn't say I'm a PlayStation expert, but I'm not one of those guys that declares myself a fanboy of either one. You know, I own both of them. I have a PS4 Pro and I have an Xbox One X. Um, as far as specifications go and power, when you look at those two, for me, there's not really a difference between the two. The only thing that uh, I can say about the PlayStation 4 as compared to the Xbox One X is that when it comes to the, uh, to the exclusives, it does seem like that the PlayStation seems to have a leg up. But as Shooter pointed out off video earlier, though, it seems like some of that's starting to change. Because for me, one of the things that the PlayStation had on the Xbox was exclusives like Kingdom Hearts, which, as you can see, starting uh, earlier this year, Kingdom Hearts 3 is now on Xbox. Well, so some of the so some of the some of the edge that I feel like that PlayStation had, they're now starting to lose because some of these exclusives and also like you said, Crash Bandicoot, because I'm really wanting to grab that Crash Bandicoot racing game when it comes out. But I notice also it's gonna be on the the uh, Xbox One X. So yeah, so that's the edge that I give to the PlayStation. But like I said, they're losing a the grip on it some. So. Well, when you talk about the hardware, though, uh, the Xbox X does blow the PlayStation away with that because PlayStation has an upscaling of the games, if I'm correct, right, Eric? The PlayStation 4? Yes. Four. yes. Xbox is true 4K gaming. So. All right, but keep in mind that with limited information, you know, don't. I'm pretty sure with Sony, they're gonna have, they're gonna try and come out with some specs. Do we have any specs for the PS5 yet? That's I'm pretty sure that they're gonna they're gonna oh, yeah. try and upgrade on on top of the Xbox One X. We're gonna turn it over to Night Clover to give us the specs. Yeah, the specs for the PS5 is as follows: the CPU is gonna be an AMD chip based on Ryzen eight times core. Whoa, eight so so it's so it's multi core eight cores eight cores and it's a Ryzen. Yes. AMD Ryzen processors are badass, folks. Now, did, 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 does it give a threads? Well, I guess it wouldn't matter for that. No, I don't give that in the, okay. in the, um, in the spec thing we have right. right here. It will support up to 8K, which is not a big thing right now because some TVs right now will put out 8K, but they're very high market TVs. They're not well known. I mean, think about it. We're just now really getting into the 4K, and they're already talking about 8K. So... It will support up to 8K when 8K does become available on a broader scale. Which is the future. Yes. So, really some limited facts we have here anyway, but the price point is 500 Is that in concrete for right now? Yeah, so far that's been the concrete information that's been given. That's just, you're looking at a $500 system, which is the same price that an Xbox One X did cost. And that's the standard usually. Go, yes. No, for real, going all the way back to the, the, Play, the PlayStation 3, yes. I remember when it first came out, you're looking at a four ninety nine ninety nine price tag. Price tag. Which, did, which did hurt the PlayStation 3. That $500 tag when the PlayStation 3 came out did hurt that system from selling as much as it did, right. which is why the Xbox 360 blew it away. Right, you know, at a cheaper price. At a cheaper price. Point. But I don't think that the, I, things have changed since then. And people are more willing and more deeper into gaming, I believe, now than they were then. I mean, you've always had people that love gamers and stuff. But what I'm saying is, is I don't think that, that $500 price tag is going to hurt the PS5 the way that it hurt the PS3. Oh, no. I don't believe it will. I don't believe it will. I either. believe that you will still have pre-orders like hotcakes. Yes. Is that all the specs, though? Is well, that, is that it, all it's supposedly it's supposed to have ray tracing. Which is the amount of light can bounce off shadow in the game. Which might not sound like a big deal, but whenever you... I, Whenever you have a powerful system that you're looking at, 
when you're looking at that will imitate a smaller type computer, you know, gaming system wise, it's going to make a big difference. Well, I, and I got a question because, uh, and you might know this, I'm not sure. Or, hold on, three, two, one, you're going to have to edit this out. Or hold on a minute, stop. Next time it does that, just stop what you're doing to make sure it don't fuck the video. Mm -hmm. Just, you notice it blacks oh, out. I think it'll still play yeah. when it's blacked out. No. But I, but, Can y'all feel that? Yeah. yeah. All right, go go. Start. All right, so all right, so three, two, one. What I'm wondering is uh, because I don't know for sure. What I'm just curious. What kind of processor? What's in the Xbox One X line? Because okay. because I mean, because like I said, I I, ha I own a Project Scorpio. I know y'all y'all do as well. But I'm just curious. I mean, did they make that like what kind of processor did they use? Because because an eight core. Ryzen processor, you know that's oh, the man, AMD I'm sure Ryzen it's... processors. That's gonna, that's that's probably I would be willing to put money would probably oh, yeah, blow it's better. The processor. It's better. It, ha it would have to be. It would not be a good selling point if they didn't beat what Microsoft has out now. I mean, so I'm pretty sure that it's better than whatever Microsoft has on their current system. Well, the Xbox One X supported an eight an eight core CPU with eight gigabytes of RAM. 500 gigabyte hard drive plus, you know, it supported 4K and some other things. Right, so it's eight cores it's as well. Eight cores as well. That's why it processes the power. Mm -hmm. but so another, that's a very important thing. Really. But another thing about the PS5 is that it's going to support Dolby Atmos sound. Yes. It's also going to come with built in 3D. So you you'll you won't have to buy all this extra stuff. Yeah, but don't Xbox support some of that already? Xbox does support 3D, but it doesn't. Like, I think Dolby it, Vision and Atmos, don't it? Well, if you download the app. Yeah. But the PlayStation 5 is going to come with it already built in. So you're mm. not downloading an app. It's also supported. I mean, it's also supposedly going to support backwards compatibility, which will be awesome. Oh, so they, they learned their lesson this time? It, it looks like it. It sounds like it. Because that's where be Xbox, good. if you are an Xbox guy, we, we had it this go around, didn't yeah. we? Which will be I'm great because the PlayStation 2 games that you have set up, hopefully you'll be able to play a PlayStation they, 3 game. They learned that lesson from that E3. Well, I remember when from, Xbox, from what you're comparing truck card on them. to what we have already, I mean, I understand some of the specs are a little bit better, but it's not enough for me to convince me to go to the dark side, brother. Well, it ain't the specs that's going to be able, for like people like you who is a true Xbox fan, while well, me and Aaron both... Though I did at launch buy a PlayStation 4. Let's throw that out there. Because I bought into the bullshit that, that uh, Xbox was throwing out there. And yes, the $500 price did affect me. $100, that was one more game I could buy. But I quickly, quickly went back. So let's just go. Well, well uh, I'm not going to say something for Xbox. Xbox. Well, it, it's all I'll, I'll it's, uh, it all comes down to one thing. And we all know what that one thing is, even gamers. Fun. Yes. Sorry, that's what. The, well, yeah, yeah fun, fun. But the games, yeah. the games is what's going to make or break a system. Let's be, let's be real. The amount of exclusives that the PS4 had compared to the amount of exclusives Xbox One came out with was far beyond a whole lot greater than they starting Xbox off. Games. I think, but I think Xbox had some pretty good exclusives towards the end, and plus the uh, the arcade games. You can't say enough about the exclusive arcade games. The cheaper options, Xbox, well, I mean, Xbox, and I, I had both of them at around the same time. And the well, Xbox Live arcade games were a lot better than PlayStation. I think the exclusive ones. Well, I'll give Xbox Live credit. I mean, Xbox Live is the best place for multiplayer gaming. It's got a better, brighter, more active dashboard. Yeah. The multiplayer, mm -hmm. just playing online with your buddies is a whole lot easier to do, to really get up and get going. The PlayStation Five, PlayStation 4 dashboard was just was dull. It was boring. And then they yeah, related, just not much to it. And yeah, they were late much. to the party chat, too. Yes, yeah, they were. And they were also late to some of the apps. Xbox killed some PlayStation when it compares to apps available. You know, I remember the Xbox One X or Xbox One had YouTube come out, and PlayStation 4 didn't have it for, it seemed like, almost half a year. Well, I think that PlayStation does suit gamers, pure gamers more, but Xbox, that doesn't take away from what Microsoft does, because Microsoft already announced that when they made this the, the Xbox One that it was an entertainment system. Yeah. Like, they, they are heavy on the apps, so you're, you're probably always going to have better apps, and 
easier to use apps on Xbox. So. Well, here's my question: All right, how much uh, how much does it cost? Uh, how much does it cost for the Game Pass or whatever? You know, like ten dollars a month or something. Ten dollars. That that's much better than PlayStations anyway. Yeah, well, it's yeah. better also because you get the exclusives. And Xbox exclusives come on Game Pass from day one. Yeah, all of them. That's why I've been trying to get you to play Crackdown Three since. No, but here's the thing: I I don't. When they put the exclusives on uh, on uh, Game Pass, they also put them out there to be sold individually, right? Yes. Yeah, but like, but on the Game Pass, though, you don't get any of the DLC if they have DLC or nothing. You'd have to buy that on your own. But I mean, it does hurt their bottom line. But let's be honest, it's Microsoft. They're not hurting for money. That's why they do it to easily sell this nine ninety nine. They feel like if they put their AAA exclusives on there. And that's why I'm saying there's much more into this exclusive. Yes, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 4, they all have better exclusives. But you have to pay 60 bucks for them. Yeah. Xbox, you get their exclusives. It might be less, but you get them for, for $9.99 a month. If you but see, to. but my only gripe with that is is I've, I've had Game Pass before and I got rid of it because I did not like a lot of the games that were on there. Like I, I did not like a lot of the games they had on the Game Pass, and I heard that they're gonna that, that, that that's what they're gonna do with their exclusives is is I heard that they may move. I read an article one time, and that they may quit selling them individually. Like you can buy crap now for sixty dollars, or you can get it right here. I heard that there's a possibility they may quit doing exclusives like sold on an individual basis and you need the Game Pass to play it. Well, and I'm just saying if I get a Game Pass, it's only going to be to play that one game. And then, well, you know, I'll just be turning around and just yeah, cancel but, it. I mean, okay, yeah, that's fine. But instead of paying $60 for that game, once you play that game and beat it, if you beat it in a month, you're going to pay $10 for that game instead of 60 and it also gives you a chance to go look at what else they got. You might, you might, there might, They put games on there. There might be games that say, hey, I don't want to pay sixty dollars for this. I might wait till it's cheaper. They put it on there, like Quantum Break, for example. I wanted to wait until it went down. Now it's on there now, and so like I'm already paying nine ninety nine to play Crack. Now I'm getting basically getting this game for free. Yeah. It works like that, and it, like you you got big into Fallout seventy six, Nuka Girl, by the way. Fallout four is free on the Game Pass for you to try. But um, I just think I just think it comes down to the games, like you said. I mean, yeah, the Game Pass is great. Game Pass is great. It's a whole lot better than what is it, PlayStation Now? I think that's what it's called. Yeah, I've, I've never I, I've never tried PlayStation. Now. It, it's expensive. You and, have to buy the games individually, right? No, you or don't buy them individually. Rent them. Yeah, you rent them. It's um, you don't really download. You stream. But they just don't offer like the great games, you know, like an Xbox. I mean, but you gotta like, ain't it like it's not like hey, you pay twenty bucks and you can stream any one of them. You gotta pay like no, you, you pay one set price okay. and you stream whatever you want. But it's expensive, like it, like nineteen ninety nine, something like that. Yeah, it's expensive. So and what's you your bottom line? I, I, my my bottom line on the subject is this: you you know you have your. Xbox, Microsoft fanboys, and then you have your fanboy. PlayStation fanboys and stuff. And people say, this one's better than this, one's better than that. As far as I'm concerned, it's just like back, you know, with wrestling when you had the Monday Night Wars. You look at WCW, you look at WWF. They both pushed each other, and it was great for the wrestling fan. To me, today's age, it's great for the gamer, okay? And I'm going to get them all. I've got the PS4. I've got the Xbox One X. I've got the Nintendo Switch because the whole point of me playing the video games is just like with business, the bottom line is the dollar. For me, the bottom line with my video games is fun. Yeah. To me, I do not care about who has the better processor. Like if you look, the, the, to me right now, the funnest of all three of the systems that I own that I just named, the one that I have the most fun with right now is my Nintendo Switch because I love that Zelda Breath of the Wild and I love playing it and there's so much that you can do before you get 100% completed. And if you look and you compare, it, it doesn't have the power to, to, to put the great AAA games out there like the two systems that we're talking about. But you know what? For me, the bottom line is fun. Yes, graphics and all that look great and all that. But you know what? To, for me, of all the three, hell, Nintendo's got the best exclusives to me, baby. 
All right? <laughs> and to me, it's a funner system to play than the other two. But that's my bottom line on it. I will be getting the PS5 when it comes out because I just want to have it all. And I want to have the latest there and the latest gadgets. And then I'm, I'm, I'm going to get it. I'm paying the 500 That's all I got My 12-year-old would agree with you about the Nintendo having the best exclusives. But I the 40-year-old me doesn't. I love the Nintendo Switch. The Nintendo Switch is an awesome system, and especially if you get the if you have the Pro controller, you even know what I mean even more. It's it's fun just with the Pro controller by itself. But it's, I'm pretty sure you know I ain't really used the little hand gadget things they had. But if you're on the go, I mean I'm pretty sure it'd be something worth having. And that little apparatus they yeah. have to attach in it feels really good. Yeah. In your so hands what's your today. thoughts on the PlayStation yeah, Five? Thought, sorry, yeah, we got off topic there. But um, my play, the PlayStation Five, I. Probably going to wait, to be honest. I don't play my PS4 as much as I do on my Xbox, which I use my Xbox for everything. You know, my Netflix, Hulu, everything is yeah. going through my Xbox. I'm going to wait. It, it's really going to all depend on what games are released at the time when the system releases and how far away the next Xbox is. Because if the next Xbox isn't further from the PlayStation 5, if it ain't going to be that much further from the PlayStation 5 from releasing then I might wait and just pick up the next Xbox. But if it's going to be a whole another year, I'll eventually go ahead and pick up the PS5 within that time frame. All right, since I was so rudely called an Xbox fanboy, let me tell you what I really am. <laughs> I'm what... Call it like I said. No, you don't call it like you said. Call like I'm said. calling it like this. I'm like a lot of gamers out there. I'm a gamer with a family. I am, oh, no. I, I am a man that only has a budget for one system when it first comes out okay so okay. that's why i had to wait on my xbox one six months and my wife can can attest to that i had to wait six months before i got it and my problem with the, with that is i've already firmly established myself through, through the xbox 360 community onto the xbox one i had that playstation 4 for four months it was great graphics i love the microphone in it but i had nobody to play with I was bored. I was bored. I like playing multiplayer games, or at least I and like that, being in parties. And yeah. That's what the Xbox is all about. It's all about multiplayer. It's the best multiplayer system to have. Single player games, solo games, PlayStation without a doubt, in my opinion. Well, but, but even multiplayer Xbox is the best. But even going game. back to 360 PlayStation 3, you could play your Fallout 3, but I could talk to you while I'm playing it in the yeah. Xbox. Couldn't do that at PlayStation. Yeah, at first. Yeah. And I'm, I'm just a gamer on a budget. That's what they call us. I can't afford to buy all three systems at once. Now, I have had PlayStations later when they went on sale, had cheaper options. But if I'm going to have to, I'm going to say the specs are so close to what the Xbox does, except for the, a, the 8K, that I could even wait a year if need be. I'd be happy waiting a year on my Xbox for this. There's nothing that blows me away that I'm going to have to say right now. Now, it could change. They could add more and more stuff to it. But I'm just firmly established in the Xbox community. I just do not see myself switching at this point. All right. Well, absolutely. All right, we're going to uh, quickly discuss a trailer that was released this week. Has everybody seen the trailer first before I talk? You said you was going to do a reaction video on it. Yeah, but I went on ahead and watched it. All right, I want to be quite frankly, The Last Jedi was a steaming pile of donkey turds. It was like Disney threw the donkey turds at the screen and watched it. I did not enjoy it. But as Mickey Corleone, is that, is that Mikey Corleone <laughs> says in Godfather 3, just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Because only by, there's nothing spectacular in this trailer, but like just the title has me intrigued. Rise of the Skywalker. Because let's be honest, all the Skywalkers are dead at this point. And like we discussed earlier, Kylo Ren is not technically a Skywalker. So no. what does this title mean? Does this mean that it's bullshit what Kylo Ren told Ray? I, I believe, I believe. So, so we know they're not talking about Kylo Ren because he's Solo's son. Yeah. So I believe they are talking about her. And I believe that there's been some misdirection. And I do. And I believe that even uh, Kylo Ren has been misdirected. Like maybe by his father uh, and his mother. I believe that they told lies to protect the last Jedi, yeah. so to speak. 
Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I believe that it was lies told to protect her and that she really is the daughter of Luke. That's what I believe. Or the daughter. I don't I don't know what we're talking I mean, I don't know if, if it's specifically Luke or some other Skywalker, but this is not the first time that, that the Star Wars movie has misdirected us. All we have to do is go back to the original movie, A New Hope, when Obi-Wan tells Luke that his father was murdered. But, by but hold on. Don't forget this. Don't forget this. There could be a twist of this. We forget that Princess Leia is a Skywalker yeah. as well. Yeah. She could be Kylo Ren's brother. For all you know. Yeah, he could. A lot of people, there is a theory going on that uh, if we go back and we look at the mythology of Star Wars, that Darth, Darth Sidious, a.k.a. the Emperor, he created Anakin Skywalker by manipulating the midi-chlorians. Okay. Only Star Wars fans know what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah. But they're, all, they're probably thinking... Darth, that, he learned it from like Darth yeah. Plagueis yeah. or whatever his name and there, is. And since yeah. we heard the Emperor's laugh at the end of it, maybe the Emperor... He failed with Anakin. Maybe he created Ray in hopes to to well, right that wrong. Yeah. 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 Oh, J.J. Abrams has done confirmed. And that. that's what we're the rise of Skywalker because all the Skywalkers are dead. Kylo Ren is not a Skywalker, not Clover. He is a Solo. So wouldn't it be rise of the Solo if we're talking about but, Kylo but, Ren? But keep in mind, that Kylo Ren does have Skywalker. Yeah, yeah, he does name. have Skywalker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. but Princess Leia, he it was Skywalker's brother. So. Yeah, but I'm I'm thinking more along the lines that we might piggyback off this Emperor thing. I'm thinking maybe the Emperor created Rey, and I don't know though. It could be Luke's daughter. Well, I do know this. Uh, uh, they did a good job in the trailer, kind of like they've been doing with In Game the Russo brothers that uh, they've done a good job with this trailer right here in the sense that they made sure they didn't reveal too much. Yeah. And I hope they keep it there. Because the trailer, yeah, we get the Emperor's laugh. Yes, they confirmed that Palpatine has returned in this one. But we don't get too much in the trailer. You know, it's pretty yeah. much her out in the desert. Looks like it might be like somewhere like out in the, Tatooine or something. You see, you see the, well, it's the, wherever the Death Star is blown up at. Well, you and see then, the Death Star. And, and, then the, and, then the, and then the fighter is, is following her and, and, you know, you have a voiceover and that's pretty much about it. I hope that they keep most of it in the dark like that. Yeah. I mean, I'm, a, I'm not going to say I'm super excited to see this movie, but I probably will. I was going to be like, well, I'll check it on whatever, the Disney app by the time it comes out. But now I probably will go check it out at the theater. And the thing about it is, is what I like. What, what, it's all right. So we don't know what they're going to do with the storyline in this movie. Because the way I feel about the way the last movie went is, is at first I did feel like it was a steaming pile of donkey turds as you described it. But it's kind of an acquired taste because I respect what they did. What they did was, is they said, this ain't your father's and this ain't your grandfather's Star Wars no more. They, all this stuff that they did symbolized that it's now a new generation of Star Wars. Even from Kylo Ren, when he did all this time where he wanted to be like Darth Vader, he wanted to be like Darth Vader. And his frustration, what did he do? He destroyed Darth Vader's helmet and said, the hell with it. Destroyed it and left it laying there. I'm moving on. I'll make it my own way. And to me, the Star Wars is trying to kind of do it its own way. So we really don't, so that, but I like that because it gives it this sense of unpredictability to it. Well, then, but, what, what, yeah. by naming it The Rise of Skywalker, it just shits on everything you just said, what they tried to do with that, because now you're making it back about the Skywalker. Yeah. And but, that's what the Star Wars has always been about. But it don't Skywalker. crap on it. It went full circle. Yeah. It went around and it's coming back to its roots. But the thing is, is that they still change things up from the last movie, so you don't know what you're going to get. That's well, I think what we're, realistically what we're getting, we got J.J. Abrams in the first one who, it was an homage to the original ones. Then yeah. you get some new guy with his new vision. Well, that didn't work. It's the most polarizing Star Wars movie. Now Abrams is back and he's, he's trying to repair. Rogue One? No, I'm talking about The Last Force. Jedi. We're not talking about none of them. We're talking about the main series films here. Ryan Johnson did the, uh, the middle one, The Last Jedi. He wanted to put his own spin on it. Changed a little bit. Now Abrams is back on this one, trying to make up for the the shit this last guy did that pissed a lot of fans off, and trying to repair it. Yeah. I mean that that's what I've been hearing on the internet. I don't you it, know. It, it should be interesting. It should be fun to watch. I'm definitely gonna go to the movies and see. And the most of the, the thing I'm excited about the most is that said the saga comes to an end. 
Because let's be honest, since Disney bought this, it's nothing but a cash cow. This ain't like the old days when it was George Lucas's vision. Yeah. They just trying to make money. Well, that's where I think it hurt. When George Lucas sold the rights to Disney, I believe that's when the downfall of Star Wars. Yeah. Because you're going to start getting, you're, you know, they say this is going to be the last one for a while, which is good. They need to give it a rest. Yeah. But they need to come up with something original again. Which I mean, these or are just original. quit making it. Just quit making. Well, I mean, there's so many stories in Star War in the Star Wars universe, and I'm pretty sure there's a bunch. That and you know good. what would sell out hotcakes, and people want to see, and I know both y'all agree with me. Let's go back to the ancient times, to the beginning of the of, well, the, of the Jedi's, in the beginning of the Sith. That like, no, they got those stories in there that well, you can go is, read about the first Sith and all that well, stuff. There, there is, Let's go back to that stuff. There is yeah. rumors that they're going to make Knights of the Old Republic game, a movies, I mean, all, based off the games. But it's going to be a while that would before be that happens. That would be interesting. And I would like that. I would like that. Let's just stay away from this, this storyline for like a good 30 yeah. years. Because you still get Star Wars, but it's not related to what we've got going on now yeah. with episodes one through yeah. nine. There's no Luke, there's no yeah. Vader, there's no Emperor. Exactly. I'm talking about you go all yeah. the way back because, because some of your most powerful Siths are those from way back in the day. Some of the first ones. There's Darth Plagueis. Well, I mean, yeah. like, where, where did you know the Emperor come from? Somebody had to train him. Somebody exactly. had, you know, Darth there has Plagueis, to be yeah. something, yeah. It would be nice to see But that. even going back before them, I mean, I would love Let's to Let's stop making that, these yeah. other ones like Rogue One and, and Solo because... I enjoyed so, Solo. Um, I liked it. I enjoyed I Solo, it. even yeah. though <laughs> it's kind of dark. Is what I've been hearing. The light, the light in that movie is terrible. It is. It is. It's it's dark movie, yeah. but you know, showing where he come from, he was more like an underground type rebel. If you think about it. a thief, though. But it's all it's it's pretty dark. But it doesn't give me the feeling like this guy turned into Harrison Ford's character. You know, it's well, just... I think the problem with them is they're squeezing them in between the, the main movies. It's just too much going out there. You know, the same thing. They, maybe if they waited to make these movies afterwards, I would I would be more interested in them. But I'm not really interested in seeing them. Yeah. Well, I mean, there is optimism with this movie. And I think it comes out Christmas Day this year. So we'll yeah, keep Christmas. our eyes on that. And, uh, well, I guess that, that wraps up this episode of The View from the... Nerds and home, unless there's anything else y'all would like to talk about. No, that's got it. That's got it. Material for the next video. Next video, well, we're all getting excited for the Infinity War. So, Endgame. Endgame, yes. I mean, oh, we're all and getting excited. And, and the movie officially premieres on Friday, but me and Night Clover here will be going to see it on th Thursday night, and I will give. My thoughts and review when I get back from the theater on the movie that night. Don't worry, it will be spoiler free. Yeah. Because I know this is like the biggest movie of our life. Well, our next video, <laughs> keep in mind, will be a total review of this more in depth, with probably with spoilers, because I'll probably go check the movie out the following Monday because I don't, I, I'm not on key on going to see, because the last movie I went to see was uh, episode three. It was a, a terrible experience for me to watch a movie with that many people. Yeah. Especially with something with this, as much as stake, I do not want to watch it on opening day and miss anything. Well, going to the movies now just seems to, to be as fun as it used to be. Me and my um, me and my girlfriend will go to the movies, and it seems like we sit around more people now that want to talk yeah. during the movie, and it's like, it, you know, and it just seems to be more of a headache. As much as ticket prices are, and if you want to get something from the concession stand, you get your little popcorn, your candy, your drinks, whatever. And then you go sit down and try to have an enjoyable time. And you have teenagers sitting either behind you or next to you that want to talk through the entire damn movie. Shut the hell up. That's right. These movies are expensive. If you're going to spend that much money to watch a movie, watch the movie. And let me tell y'all something right now. This movie is three hours and two minutes. So do not get the large soda. <laughs> do not get the large icy. But if you do, make sure you buy a large popcorn because nobody ever finishes it anyway. And you can take the popcorn and you can dump it under your seat because if it comes to this, it's what I'll do, which is going to suck because it's going to be a packed theater. And you can pee in that big popcorn can, uh, bucket. Because at three hours and two minutes, there's no way you're going to be able to watch that movie without having to go at least once. So make sure that you pee 
and do your business. Oh. Whatever you got to do before the movie starts, and do not drink a large soda in there because you do not want to miss any of this. Or you can any of it. Or you could do like that woman did that was driving to Florida, I think, or to Texas. Just wear a diaper. Just wear a diaper. You know, you, know, you, you just gave me an idea. Yeah, well, I, hope I already I, said that. So he, <laughs> that's gimmick infringement. No, uh, uh, Jeremy Renner. Look, <laughs> Jeremy <laughs> Renner already said wear a fucking diaper. I'm wearing. You know what? That's the first I've heard of this from him, though. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm wearing a Depends to that movie. I'm not missing any of it. And my girlfriend, I'm not joking. Yeah, but you're probably going to the, you're going to the opening night, so you'll probably miss at least ten minutes of it because of assholes in the theater. That's why I never go to an opening. My movie girlfriend's again. gonna bring the tissues for us because it's gonna be a very tearful. Uh, I'm just kidding, but. Uh, <laughs> But it's going to be an exciting movie, and we got to add a full review of that coming. I'll probably go to the theater by myself because I probably can't get a babysitter for three hours. Long movie. but And I'll probably get divorced because my old lady's looking at me angry right now. <laughs> but I'm just kidding. And uh, I guess that wraps this episode, the debut episode. But, but, was, but oh, and another thing I wanted to add, though, do not, if you do have to pee, and you don't want to pee in front of people. Now, just do not use that little, do not use, like what my father used to do at one time, do not use that little area that on the way out of the theater. They have this indention in the wall that where they can put the trash can kind of in there out of the out of the walkway or whatever. Don't use that. <laughs> my father did that one time, and I thought I was got to defend his honor from some dude and make a big fight and all that. Do not use that area to pee. <laughs> all, right. all right just remember if you like this video like it subscribe to us share it to your friends because we want to get out there and i will be putting the links to our facebook our youtube twitter whatever it'll be down below just please click on it click on add us follow us and we will be we will be doing giveaways soon We'll be doing giveaways. we're doing a giveaway we're trying to do a giveaway on our facebook right now but we don't have enough votes I said fifty votes, and we'll give away an Xbox or a PlayStation. That's right. So when so I go vote on that. So when I add the link on the bottom, click on the link, vote. Follow. Watch the video because you got to follow. follow here. You got to subscribe here. Subscribe right. and follow. Yeah. And what we will do is we will we will take what I think, and guys, y'all tell me if this is okay. We will take all of our subscribers, the subscribers now. This is what I think. All of this is subscribe. Well, I was thinking about the subscribers on the winning side of it. Yeah. Put it in there. Because if they win. Well, don't say that. They might they might vote for what they think is going to win instead of what they Whoa, Well, if they do that, then, <laughs> then they're going to get a PlayStation card when they really have an Xbox. They won't be able to spend it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's all on your choice. Yeah, it. it's all on your choice. That's right. And we're legit. I promise it will get sent to you, even if you live out of state. Even if we have to scratch it off and send you the code in the yep. message. We'll do exactly. it. Yep. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Other than that, peace. Mm. So remember, do or do not, there is no try. Just do it. Mm. <laughs>